students today in this video we are going to start with the type of bones there are two type of bones one is compact and another is spongy so i in the earlier video we have discussed the characteristics of the bone just the introduction we have discussed now in this video we are going to see in detail what are the structures how all the structures are present in the bone so let's just see the inner structure of the bone so i will draw here the bone and after that i will show you the the two parts one is the compact part another is the spongy part in the earlier video itself i have told that suppose this is the bone okay suppose this is the bone so in that bone we are going to have the two part this part will be epiphysis right and this part is the diaphysis so this part will be the diaphysis so this diaphysis will contain the compact part compact bone and the epiphysis that will contain the uh red or that will be the spongy bone so let's just see first of all what actually is the compact bone so if you see here suppose this is the this this is suppose the yellow bone marrow right so suppose the this is part is the yellow bone part so in that region around that we are going to have the this is one lining this is the another lining so this lining will be known as endosteum and this will be known as periosteum right so let us see in this part first of all i will show you this structure that means from here to here so this region i am going to show you actually what are the structures present so this structure i will draw here so the outermost lining this is suppose the outermost lining so this will be the periosteum right periosteum and this will be the endosteum isn't that so what is this part this will be the yellow bone marrow got it now to see <clears throat> inside that part this is the compact part so in this compact part what is the arrangement okay so first of all just see this bone is also one structure which do not allow the blood or the lymph or the nerve to enter inside it so there will be the bone in this bone it is not possible that in this very hard region the blood vessel can penetrate so that's why the blood vessel to penetrate inside the bone there are specific tunnels tunnel like structures are present so entire the length of the bone we are going to have some longitudinal tunnels so suppose this is one tunnel okay so inside that tunnel blood vessel will run through this diaphysis or the shaft long part of the bone so whenever we will have a section then this tunnel will look like this understand so this way whenever we have this tunnel what is that tunnel called as this will be known as haversian canal right remember this will be known as haversian canal inside which we have the blood vessel suppose here this will be the blood vessel right for your easy understanding this is the haversian canal so here also it will be haversian canal this haversian canal whenever we have a cross section it will appear like this now to see in case of the bone what we will see in case of the uh, matrix the matrix is found in layers right so suppose these are the matrix okay so this matrix first layer second layer third layer this will be present one above the another layer and those layers of the bone 
that matrix which is forming the layers one above another that layers will be known as lamellae okay a singular lamella uh, sorry lamella so this that lamellae they will be present in concentric rings around the haversian canal so suppose we see this is one lamellae this is one layer then around it we will see the another layer then around it there will be another layer okay now i will show here another that will be suppose another haversian canal and around that canal also we are going to see concentric ring of this lamellae right so this way lamellae will be present understand so uh, there are the varieties of lamellae will be present some will be around the haversian canal some will be in between the concentric rings some of them that will be around the periosteum now to see in that layers suppose these are the layers whenever the layers are present in between the layers there are some spaces some spaces will be present in between the layers and whenever those spaces are present that will form some empty space that will be known as the uh, cavity i told you in the cartilage also what is that that will be known as lacuna right so here some lacunas will be present in between the two lamellae right so these are the lamellae oh sorry in the lamellae okay so here the concentric rings these are known as lamellae okay this is lamella singular and this is plural lamellae now in between the lamellae what we are going to see the empty space that will be known as lacuna and that lacuna will have some projections okay so suppose i will write here this are this is one lacuna okay so those lacuna will have some projections and that lacuna which will actually communicate with the next lacuna like this understand so this projections they are known as canaliculi okay so this lacuna that will have some canaliculi so this diagram is this actually now inside the lacuna that are canaliculated now inside that they are going to have the cells and what is the cell of the bone that will be the osteocytes so these are the osteocytes so for better understanding see osteocytes will be present throughout the length okay it's not like that only in one region it will be present no throughout this so that will be known as ossein okay so in that whole haversian system okay so this is the haversian system in this haversian system what is haversian system first one we have haversian canal then around the haversian canal we will have the layers of lamellae that matrix of the bone that will be found in layers they are known as lamellae lamellae along with haversian canal is known as haversian system right so this is one haversian system that is another haversian system in between the lamellae we have a space and that space is uh, will actually have some empty space which have some projections canaliculi that will be the lacuna lacuna will have some projections called canaliculi inside that lacuna what we have we have the cell that is the osteocytes osteocytes also will have some uh, projection suppose this is the osteocyte right so this osteocyte will also have connection with the next osteocyte okay so here osteocytes will be present like this here also here also right so these are the osteocyte which will also have some cytoplasmic projection so now another important thing we need to know that here one haversian canal is there suppose there is another haversian canal is present okay this is one another haversian canal now one haversian 
system, one Hebersian system have connection with the next Hebersian system by one oblique connection, one oblique canal. Okay, and what is that canal called? See, suppose there is a canal present. Here also there is an, another canal present. What is that canal called? This is known as Volkman, Volkman's canal. Okay, remember one Haversian system connects with the next Haversian system by a canal that is the oblique canals they are known as Volkman's canal. So whenever we have a cross section suppose this is the bone Volkman canals are present okay so this is one Haversian system this is another Haversian system. So this two Haversian system will have connection suppose this one is a uh, Volkman canal. Whenever we have a section of this bone, then it might be not possible that you can see the Volkman canal. Okay, Volkman canal will be present in between the two Haversian system, but yes, Volkman canal is present. That is a connection between the two canals, between the two Haversian system. So here for imagination only i need to tell you this is just the imagination it will be not present like this okay so in this one this one okay so this walkman canal is actually this one haversian system connects with the next haversian system by a canal that is called as the walkman's canal right remember that this will be the structure of the compact bone so this will be the compact bone okay this is compact bone okay remember that this is the compact bone right so this is the structure what we have i have clearly told you that first of all in case of the bone the blood vessel cannot freely enter inside the bone so that's why we have some tunnel like structure and in the tunnel like structure we have our empty space through which the blood vessel can be pen penetrated through the entire length of the bone and what is that tunnel like structure known as that is known as the Volkman canal right here whenever we have a cross section that is known as the Volkman's canal around the Volkman's canal we have the deposition of the matrix that forms some layers and whenever it forms the layer what we can call it this is known as lamellae in between the lamellae some empty spaces are there and that empty space is known as the lacuna that lacuna have some projections called canaliculi with which one lacuna connects with the next lacuna. Inside the lacuna, the living cells of the bone that is called as osteocytes, they are present. Osteocytes also have some cytoplasmic bridges or connection with which one osteocyte connects with the next osteocyte. So that is about the bone. Now we need to know that where does the osteoblast are present? Osteoblast that will be present nearer to the periosteum. Okay, so nearer to the periosteum, we are going to have the osteoblast. So that osteoblast will not only secrete the matrix of the bone, it will also produce the osteocyte. And once the osteocytes become, uh, suppose, AIDS, and after some time it died, then this died osteocytes will be engulfed, will be destroyed by one another cell that is called as osteoclast cell. So that is about the compact bone. Now let's just move to the next part that is the spongy part. And where does the spongy part present? It is present on the epiphysis. So let's just see what is present actually. Whenever we see a bone here towards the edges, then we will able to find some structures like this. Okay. So that will actually known as the spongy part. Okay, so here also, here also, we will see this will be our spongy bone. So how does spongy bone structure look like? Whenever it comes to the spongy bone, remember one thing that the, the, the bone matrix 
in the epiphysis that actually found in some branches, some structures that will be present like this. Suppose these are the branches. Okay, so this way the matrix is present. This is one matrix where the branches are present. Okay, so this is one. Okay, this way some branches will be there. Okay. So this way, suppose here, this one is the branches, okay? Those branches, they are known as trabeculae, okay? Remember, the branches are nothing but the matrix of the bone, right? Like here, we can see this matrix from the lamellis. In case of the spongy bone, they form the branch-like structures. They are known as trabeculae. And inside the trabeculae, you will see the projection within which the cells osteocytes are present but here everything will be same but just the bone matrix will form trabeculae in this case right and where does this red bone marrow part will be present it's not like that here inside we have a tunnel where in uh, that means a marrow a cavity inside that diaphysis we have this cavity where the yellow bone marrow is present but if it comes to the red bone marrow, that red bone marrow will be present in between the trabeculae, right? So this is one trabeculae, right? So it is going to have this red bone marrow in this region. Suppose in this region, right? Here. So in this region, we are going to have this red bone marrow like this. Understand? So this will be the red bone marrow. Okay, and that will be our sponsy bone. So, this is the red bone marrow. Right? So, this will be the sponsy bone. Okay? This trabeculae are nothing but just the matrix of the sponsy region. It forms some branch-like structures known as trabeculae. Inside that, we will have the osteocytes that will be present like in layers okay suppose in layers here same heversian system everything that will be present like this okay so that will be known as the spongy bone so in that spongy bone in between the empty spaces of the trabeculae we are going to have the spoon uh, that red bone marrow and this is the compact bone marrow where inside the compact bone what we have the haversian canal around that lamellis are present the lamellae and the haversian canal form the haversian system one haversian system connects with the next haversian uh, next haversian system by Volkmann's canal inside in between the lamellae we have empty space that are known as lacuna lacuna have canaliculis with which one lacuna connects with the next lacuna inside the lacuna we have the cells that are known as the osteocytes osteocytes also have the connection that connects with the next osteocytes okay so that in case of the compact bone this here this is the endosteum this will be the periosteum this is actually this layer okay in between this red line and black line this is the compact part just this blue section which is removed and which have seen this one this will be the periosteum this is the periosteum this is the endosteum this is the endosteum this blue colored lining we have seen and this longitudinal tunnel we have drawn here that will be haversian canal and whenever we have cross section that will appear like that one haversian system connects with the next haversian system by Walkman canal and in this sponsy region what we are going to have the trabeculis that trabeculi in between the branches we will see the red bone map so there are the two types of bones the red uh, sorry compact bone and sponsy bone inside the compact bone the cavity will have yellow bone marrow and inside the sponsy bone in between the trabeculis we will have the red bone marrow so that's all about the bone we have completed the skeletal part we have completed the skeletal part of the uh, specialized connective tissue in the next video we will see the fluid connective tissue where we will discuss the blood and the lymph so that's all about the bone part thank you we i
uh, I believe you understand all these parts. So that's all about the video. Thank you.